It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Before YouTube, before the invention of Twitch, there was a TV station that was called G4 TV. Now what was G4 TV? More or less, that whole entire station was dedicated into producing various content for video games like reviews and you know segments and skits whatever that whole entire channel was fantastic they had shows like attack of the show as well as x play to name a few of the various examples of tv shows that they had on their stations however during the later years of g4 it seemed to focus more and more on of course reruns of cops and star trek until it finally took the whole entire plug and not become a station anymore. Mostly because the ratings for that whole entire station during that later period of G4 was lower than even most religious channels. And so back in 2021, they decided to relaunch a whole entire, you know, Twitch page and also YouTube channel. However, it seems as though that there is a new video that's been viral for the last few days that seems to alienate the people who used to watch G4. Not only the people did not like the new Portal Rising video, but also it turns out that Adam Sessler has made some very hateful comments against Republicans. And so without further hesitation, let us begin. Sexism in gaming. In joining G4... <laughs> In this is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. Whoop. It's somehow- Talk to him, Frost! It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird! It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. As you can see in the whole entire beginning premise of the video, she mentioned that she has received nasty comments that, of course, she did not like. And that, of course, people like, you know, Morgan Webb and Olivia Nunn were not dare to, you know, be sex symbols. Now, let's address the first point. When I looked at the videos that she was in on that G4 channel on YouTube, not once have I really spotted a lot of comments that were very sexist in nature. In fact, a lot of people prior to this video seemed to be encouraging her, seemed to be very nice towards her, and I'm guessing that the small percentage of people that were nasty against her were like trolls. And so, Obviously, any type of harassment, any sort of trolling is not okay. And so I condemn any sort of harassment or trolling that is directed towards this person. At the same time, though, when you're a public figure, like me and you, of course, you have to expect some sort of pushback just because, you know, for different reasons. Now, the pushback could be a number of different factors. It could be the fact that, of course, they don't like your analysis, that they don't agree with your analysis, some other reasons on why they push back. And so pushback and criticism of your own personal opinion happens to any type of public figure, no matter who you are, whether you're like a man or a woman or whatever. Now, the second point is that, of course, yeah, Olivia Nunn, as well as Morgan Webb, were not dare to be sex symbols. When I look at the various videos that uh, G4 has done in the past on Attack on the Show, there were like, you know, various moments in which, of course, Olivia Nunn did the most crazy, most sexiest things possible while also, you know, being a cool host. Now, I think the main reason why, of course, people like Olivia Nunn in that whole entire program was not just because she was sexy, not because, you know, she did some sort of, you know, cool, funny things, but also they like her personality. 
and so when you have sexiness combined with personality and being a good sport and not ranting in front of the whole entire viewership you actually you know get cool shows like what happened on attack on the show and so this idea that somehow of course they were not you know we're not dare to you know be sexy and be cool and whatnot it's kind of very interesting and very questionable to me. But more so to the point about this whole entire argument, I find it so incredibly hypocritical that a lot of these figureheads are talking about sexism in gaming and how internet trolls are an example of this sort of sexism, yet they never take the time or the effort to go out there, of course, like corporations that actually, you know, have some sort of sexist practice in real life. Of course, I'm talking about, of course, what's happening in, like, in Activision Blizzard, because Activision Blizzard is now under hot water for mistreating the women employees in that company. Yeah, you never see these sort of people whatsoever just talking about the whole entire situation that's happening in game companies. Not in the slightest. But for some strange reason, they take the time and the effort to go after, of course, the trolls. It's amazing to me. I could turn the camera around so that you could see the incredible team that make X-Play. Half of our producers and writers are women. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby. It goes on and on and on. Former writers that are now on ATOS like Vanessa. I really hate this whole entire argumentation about diversity and that apparently because you have diverse people within your crew or your cast that somehow you're more qualified to do X, Y, and Z. Now, first and foremost, I'm not against the idea of hiring somebody, no matter their race or their gender or whatnot, but in a whole entire society where we apply the idea of equality of opportunity, I think that more people should be hired and should be judged upon based entirely off the skill sets that they have done and what kind of stuff they can do. And so, Bring up the fact that they're like a women's staff, I don't necessarily care about that kind of stuff. What I do care about is that if they're like a good writer, then I'll hire them because they're a good writer. I don't necessarily care if they're a woman or a man or a black or white, whatever. And so I find it so strange that people like her always bring up the whole entire race or gender issue about hiring practices when in reality it should not necessarily matter who you are what kind of things that you have between your genitals so maybe for 2022 we'd be a bit nicer a bit more self-reflective and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you if you don't like it don't watch it i'm telling you guys she is going to regret those words mostly because a lot of people did not know that G4 still existed prior to this viral clip and so by her telling the whole entire you know world that don't watch her content she's probably going to say later on in the whole entire you know whatever run for this internet programming for G4 that somehow because they're not getting as many views as they do it's because of sexism too and so yeah good job on alienating a whole entire you know audience just because you want to go on hinge in a rant. But let's go into the comments that were done by Adam Sessler because his comments were also, you know, very, you know, nice. Just so I can get off my system once for today, Republicans are stupid, racist, and drink piss. For Republican has a small parabola, they only swing between white nationalism and Nazism. Hot damn, Republicans are chicken shits. Until they clean their ranks, Republicans are a terrorist organization. They're a Nazi with no fashion designer helping them. Republicans are Nazis. They are a cancer. Fuck them all. Now, as a general rule, you don't want to bring, of course, politics into, you know, video game spaces. Because Adam Sessler, more or less, is a public figure that concentrates more about video games. And so, I don't think that politics and video games like this should not really mix together because you're gonna just divide people you're just gonna alienate people but the comment right here about his family member is what's really really striking to me not for me as I said yesterday all the Republicans in my family can eat shit and die 
while I sip something, buddy. As you guys can see on his Twitter page, it seems as though that Adam Sessler really hate people just because they have a whole separate political opinion than his. And he wears death on his own family members. His own family members just because they think differently than he does. That is literally the definition of a bigot. Somebody who does not tolerate other people just because of their belief system. And so, I have no idea why anybody would want to wish death to somebody just because they have a different political view. It's just so cruel and just so mean-spirited to do such an awful thing. So what can we possibly learn from this relaunch of G4? For starters, you never talk down to viewers. Ever. Even though they might be, you know, comments that be mean towards you, you don't talk down on people just because you receive mean comments here and there. And number two, you never ever try to bring politics to, you know, something like a space like gaming because ultimately people are always going to be divided by the political s stuff going on right now in the world and so never bring politics and never talk down your viewers just because you receive mean comments and also to call out the actual harassments that's been going on in video game companies and not of course trolls but what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.